Hello, welcome, come in. Welcome, folks. Welcome to Leaf Academy. <laughs> this is Janko. Opa. <laughs> and this is Jaska. And we are both your first students. We're going to take you through a virtual tour of the building. Uh, so Leaf Academy is an international boarding school. Uh, we have a two-year and a four-year program and we are focused on innovative education. So the application process was open yesterday. You can apply for the two-year and the four-year program and we are doing this virtual tour so you can learn more about us and make sure whether this school is something you could imagine studying in. So let's move to the first classroom. Welcome. This is fireplace, probably the main classroom of the building. Why is it main? Uh, mainly because of the three things we do here. First is assembly, second is lectures, and third is regular classes uh, where many people uh, are uh, signed up for. So firstly, assemblies. What are assemblies? Uh, these are weekly meetings uh, where students and members of uh, Leaf Academy community, such as teachers and employees, meet and share the last uh, updates and news. Uh, and pretty much we spend one hour together on Thursdays. So uh, you can see it's a beautiful room, beautiful design. Uh, second is lecture. So uh, we had two main lectures uh, lately, uh, recently. It was a uh, member of the European Parliament uh, came to share his experience and opinions on the pressing issues of the European Union. And the second one was an uh, Israeli entrepreneur yesterday, and he came to share his insights on the startup culture in Israel. Uh, besides that, uh, regular classes take place in here, such as AP economics or national language classes. Uh, you can see the room is quite big, so uh, about 20 students can fit in here and uh, pretty much take regular classes. Uh, with that, let's move on to the next uh, classroom, and that is Atlantis. So Atlantis is a room where STEM education takes place. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. The way we teach these subjects at Leaf Academy is really interdisciplinary. So we really try to take an issue and look at it from multiple perspectives, because in the end that is how the real world looks like, right? You don't just come in and say, okay, I'm going to solve this problem, keep things physics in mind. You take everything that you know and you try to solve the problem. So we have, also, we have AP classes here, like AP Biology, AP Physics, AP Computer Science, and many more. And we also have classes for Year 1s and Year 2s, where you really have one science subject focusing on many uh, disciplines. For example, last year there was STEEL, which is a cooperation between the STEM department and the EL department, which we'll talk about later. Uh, and they were trying to look at the issue of building bridges, uh, both from a scientific and an entrepreneurial perspective, and they actually created prototypes. So let's move on and let's see the upper floor of the building. Indeed. Let's walk up the ancient wooden staircase. <laughs> so if you like what you are seeing and you would perhaps be interested in, you know, experiencing it with your own eyes, walking yourself on these beautiful stairs, you have a unique opportunity. Uh, December the 8th, the open day. Please register and come visit us. You will be given a chance to experience what classes at Leaf Academy feel like, how our teachers are like. You will be given a chance to see our potential future classmates and see how the school feels like for you and what life at the school is really like. Plus, in case you joined right now, we're doing a virtual tour uh, around the Leaf Academy building. And now we're on a wooden staircase and we'll be talking about advisory families, a really important part of our life here at the Academy. So every student at Leaf Academy is part of an advisory family with around five to seven other students and two teachers. Advisory families are really the people you will be closest to at Leaf Academy for two or four years, depending on how long you study here. You will be going for advisory lunch every week with them. You will be going on events outside of lunch, so maybe you will be doing Thanksgiving baking with them going for some fun activities, etc. And your advisors will be really the people who are closest to you. They will be the people who will know what's going on in your life. And in case you need an adult to talk to or you have some issues, your advisory parents will always be there to talk with you. Indeed. And now we're moving to our next classroom and that is Diagon Alley. 
Diagon Alley, like most classrooms at Leaf, at Leaf Academy, is home to many subjects which are taught here, but the ones that we will mention today are character development and uh, seminal readings. So what is character development? Let's go. So character development is one of the flagship projects of Leaf. It is basically uh, time dedicated for you in classes where you can focus on yourself. So you try to discover your character, discover your values, your plans for life, how you interact with other people, etc. So really for four or two years, you delve deep into yourself and you try to mm, discover something. And this is with the help of professional teachers who are really nice and they're really supportive in the classes. Thank you. And so what also happens in here uh, are the seminal readings. What are the seminal readings? Let me look at the expo. Uh, these are uh, basically gatherings of smaller groups uh, which happen probably like three times per year and usually students uh, receive some book or an excerpt from the text and are suppo they're supposed to read it and then they discuss uh, the topics, themes, controversies uh, around the book and maybe how is the book related to contemporary society, con contemporary problems. Okay, so Yanko, what was your favorite book in similar readings? Wow, uh, it was probably George Orwell uh, 1984, which we discussed last year in June. Okay. We had fruitful discussions, really heated debates, so that's why uh, I chose this one. Okay, now let's move on and we will move on to the Entrepreneurial Leadership Office and before that we will talk about this interesting program which is Key to Leaf Academy. Indeed, as you mentioned, uh, Entrepreneurial Leadership is really one of the pillars of Leaf Academy. Uh, why? Because it focuses on utilization of knowledge, on project-based learning on teamwork, communication, cooperation. Uh, so the combination of both hard and soft skills which are crucial in today's world. So you will not only learn how to work in a team, how to manage your time, how to give presentations, but you will also learn how to work with software, how to plan, plan the budgeting for your, how to plan the budgeting for your projects, etc. So you will really get uh, an experience of what the real world is like once you get there. And so what happens in EL for a lot of the time is that we have partner projects. Hello Geraldine, hello Claire. Hello, hello. Hi. So what happens in these partner projects is that you get a real world company, whether it be a business, an NGO or any other, uh, any other company and they, so they give you an issue that they're currently facing and then you try to help them solve it. So over the years we have had students cooperating with companies like Future Now, Startup Awards, um, 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 <laughs> Pixel Federation and many more and this is only business right that we also had students cooperating with NGOs such as Marina, Nova Cvernoka and so on or you know one year we had basically students cooperate with companies which are close to Leaf Academy to make sure that Leaf Academy is not just a separate thing but we really bond with the community around us so we were helping food trucks um, and cafes and galleries around the campus, uh, which is in the center of Bratislava. So that is EL. It's really nice, it teaches you a lot, and it gives you a connection with the real world. So when you exit Leaf Academy, you have contacts and you have skills. Now, let's go to the school's library, one of my favorite places. Welcome to library, the place where you want to seek knowledge. Currently, I'm reading Thomas Piketty, Capital in the 21st Century. Great book, really recommend it. And as you can see, we have a variety of subjects. You can pretty much choose from anything you want. We have science, we have technology, arts, literature, but we also have textbooks and uh, in case you'd be interested in learning more about uh, the grammar in your native language, for example, and Leaf Academy doesn't offer this subject, uh, you can ask for some book and the library will order it and you will receive it. So with that, uh, let's move on to the snake area while we'll be walking downstairs. Yanko is using the library as it should be used as a quiet space because it's really the place where you can quietly study and focus on your work and not be interrupted by others. But one important aspect of Leaf Academy that we haven't mentioned yet is experiential learning. Indeed, experiential learning. It can be divided into two main sections. One of them being the Leaf Weeks and the second one being the term E, which yes. is happening at the end of the year. Yes, so and what are Leaf Weeks? What are Leaf Weeks? So let me give you an example. Uh, last week, uh, sorry, not last week, it was uh, three weeks ago we organized Leaf Weeks and I was actually leader of this project and the Leaf Weeks were focused on 100 years 
uh, of Czechoslovakia, so the anniversary. Uh, students uh, could attend lectures, could be, uh, we have many activities connected to it, and that, that again emphasizes and truly underlines the importance of utilizing the knowledge, uh, and Leaf Academy sees this as an important aspect. So we try to learn something, uh, as one of our uh, friends said, uh, we want to leave with smile on our faces, but knowledge in our minds. So that's Leaf Weeks. In addition to Leaf Weeks, there is three weeks at the end of every academic year, which we at Leaf call Term E. Term E is about experiencing what the real world is like. So you can basically choose any project to focus on. We have had students who, were, uh, who spent three weeks at a farm learning how that works like. We had students who spent three weeks in the street with homeless people, or we had students who had internships at biological labs learning what real world research is like, or students traveling to Spain for a three week pilgrimage. So really, anything you think of, you can make it happen at LEAF. And now, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most important parts of this virtual tour, the snack area. You can choose between a cake and a fruit, and in fact you don't even have to choose, because both of them are provided for you. I will choose banana because I chose to live, you know, a healthy lifestyle. Uh, and this is also a great place where students meet between the classes. Uh, they discuss, they laugh, they chill. Some, someone can study in here, for example. And what else do they do here, Yaska? They talk about memes. Memes, yeah. Listen to music. In here. Dance. Our students are really an interesting, enthusiastic bunch of people. So, uh, our virtual tour is drawing to a close. We would really recommend you to check out the application which you can now find on the website and apply to leave if this is something you can imagine, st imagine studying and this is a school where you could imagine spending two or four years. And come for the open day. Again, December 8th. Register and come visit us. You'll definitely learn more. So we really hope we will see you either at the open day or maybe next year in September. Uh, but that's it from us now because we will be going for lunch. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye.